Hello everybody and welcome to Patalung train station. Today we're taking a third class train from Patalung to Chumpon and it is currently right around 6 p.m. Our train is already around 20 to 30 minutes late but we're very excited to take this third class train to Chumpon. It's going to take roughly around six hours and both of us are feeling exceptionally hungry so let's go and hop on this train and hopefully it shows up soon enough because we've been waiting now for quite some time. Literally standing in the right place. It, do it doesn't get much better than that. Oh. Okay. Sorry, Kat. Hello. All right, you guys. We made it to our seats now. In comparison to second class. I can already show you the one obvious thing um, it's like four people sitting across from each other which we are doing right now as well now I don't, obviously don't want to show just people's faces without asking for permission and I don't know how to ask for permission so I'm not gonna do that and then um, the seating arrangement is a little bit smaller you're sort of sitting on uh, one of these benches instead of like individual chairs and because we're both pretty big farangs uh, it's a little bit difficult to squeeze ourselves in here but it's okay these are the best types of travel days these are the ones <laughs> the ones where you get stories to tell and 100% uh, seats are very comfortable actually very comfortable yeah i just need to figure out where to put this backpack and then yep. it's going to be okay and also like the last time there is no window <laughs> you, there is a window that you can put up uh, in case it rains I guess but um, other than that right now there's no window so you have lots of fresh air coming in which is highly appreciated and uh, yeah I cannot wait for this new adventure um, how long is it gonna take us to get roughly six hours six six hours 15 maybe just a little over six hours so yeah it's gonna be an exciting journey I think So we got ourselves some food. I don't know how well you can hear me right now. It's very, very windy and also quite bumpy on the road, on the road, on the tracks as well. But we picked up what looks like to be similar to a pad crab pow, but I think it's a chicken version, so a no pork version. And then only 30 baht for this. Now you get like a sunny side up fried egg you get some meat, you get the holy basil, you get rice and you also get the fish, fish sauce as well so like I said I hope you guys can hear me it's incredibly noisy here at the moment but uh, let's give it a try I'm gonna basically just mix some stuff together see what it's like It's not hot at all, it's actually very breezy and nice. This is 
by the way as well why we uh, booked in third class I did the four uh, I meant the th third class of course um, the train is packed to the brim so when I was trying to book usually I book like two or three days in advance but these were like the last two seats that were available on this train and other trains were already completely booked out so in case you are coming from southern Thailand like Songkla or uh, Patalung or something like that and you're trying to go north make sure to book maybe a few days in advance because um, if not you might not necessarily get a seat on a train as I said these were the last two seats that were even um, together if not uh, Luke would have sit, sit in one of the uh, wagons and I would have sat in a completely different wagon or something like that so if you are a couple and you want to travel together make sure to book a few days in advance So guys, we're currently at or close to Nakhon Si Tamarat. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But um, roughly, I would say another three or four hours to go. And uh, very smooth journey so far, I have to say. very popular place mostly for people that want to go to Koh Samui or Koh Panga for the full moon parties. that pretty much everybody is sleeping um, sort of on the seats on the floor pretty much everywhere um, this train seems to be extremely busy um, there were some issues as well with the seats where I don't know some seats were taken and then other people had to stand I don't know it was a whole drama but anyway um, we're relatively close to Champon now and we should be getting off relatively soon now our current issue is that um, we have been messaging our Airbnb host beforehand already. We said, okay, look, we're gonna arrive in at night. Is that gonna be okay? She agreed. We booked it because she agreed. And uh, I don't know, she has been answering messages up until like an hour ago. But right now she seems to be quiet and not answer any messages anymore. So. Yeah, we hope we're uh, gonna get there and then obviously also get into our Airbnb, which we are not sure of now. And uh, we also have to take a grab or a taxi or something like that to get to where we want to go. Oh! so close to Champon railway station it was probably just to let this train pass and now we will be able to move on hopefully yeah we're currently standing in the way <laughs> so sorry exit this way but everybody else walks that way yeah these are people getting on the train okay 
<sighs> we just arrived in Champong with a good 40 minutes delay and now we're just gonna pray that there will be a taxi or a grab or something that can bring us to our accommodation. We're both a bit scared that we're not gonna manage to actually get there, but uh, well, that's also part of traveling, I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. That train in the beginning for like the first two hours was a fantastic ex experience because we got chatting to two lovely locals that were from Patani and they suggested us to go and visit there and we really really want to go and visit Patani, Yala, Naratiwat and those areas but the whole reason that we're going further north is because of the terrible weather that these southern provinces are having at the moment it's the whole reason why we're going up to Chumpon quicker than we anticipated because we're trying to basically escape the rain there was a severe lack of leg space on that train um, I was sat next to unfortunately a very tall German man who also was not happy with the leg space because he was I think taller than I am and I'm I'm relatively tall and uh, yeah a whole bunch of Europeans got on the train as well once we went past Suratani the train sort of loaded up with tall white people and the leg the leg space got less and less but yeah guys we're here in Chumpon now let's see if we can get ourselves a, a grab doesn't look very promising does not feel very promising either this the city of Chumpon seems to be fast asleep right now. Wow. That was a that was a long six hours. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend I'm not gonna pretend like it was a perfect experience. But it's definitely an experience. Overall positive. Positives and negatives. Let's put it like that. Well yeah, hopefully we're gonna be gonna be positive if we get into our airbnb yeah that's the one thing there if we can get to our airbnb it will be a win-win i think let's see what happens guys we'll keep you updated as we go along, along obviously and if we're stuck we might just walk into a random hotel and see if we can test out our, our luck seems to be a little bit of a Leftover night market here as well. Kalkunka. Kalkunka. Guys, we found a tuk tuk that's going to take us. What a win win. It's a little bit of a Song Tao, Song Tiao situation. So, literally, it's one o'clock in the morning. It's not waiting for anybody. <laughs> no. Oh, careful, doggy. One o'clock in the morning, we just arrived in Chumpon, in the back of this thing. Now we're on our way. Thailand never ever fails to amaze us, that's for sure. Didn't expect this at all. Fantastic. Now you probably can't really see much because it's very dark here, but. Welcome to Chumpa. Hello. Oh, there, there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. 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 Good night.
All oh, right, we made it. Safe and sound. Time to check in and uh, have to say, these people are incredible for waiting for us to come and check in. It's literally past one o'clock in the morning right now. So this is crazy. So could not be any more exhausted. Well, we we're all checked in and uh, this place is actually very nice. Naomi just walked into a table, uh, christening the uh, place as always. She's probably the clumsiest person you will ever meet in your life. If you will ever meet me. Yeah. But this is the place guys. Look at this big double bed. We're in like a wooden cabin. Total darkness outside, so I have no idea what the actual views I think I are. Saw a lake or some like the pond or some, something like that. Some type of a body of water is outside this window, I think, or this window could be no, either this one. Window. This one. Um, so probably a nice view here. This window, I have no idea. Seems to be mostly trees. This bed looks very comfortable right now. Um, cannot wait to get in there. We have an AC. We have a TV which we never use. We have Wi-Fi. We wi also don't understand the language of the TV. <laughs> yep. We have Wi-Fi, which we use permanently. We have some sort of a kitchen. We have a kettle, which is massively, <laughs> massively important. Also a car from the 1930s. Looks like 20s? a model, like a Model T car or so. Ford. Picture Ford. Um, we have a kind of a makeshift sink, toilet paper, water, fridge. And this is the grand bathroom tour. We have a shower, hopefully with some hot water. I don't know. Mosquito nets, because I'm sure there's a lot of mosquitoes. We're literally on a lake, as far as I know. Toilet, sink. And that's pretty much it, guys. Damaged knee. Damaged knee. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Chompon. This is the beginning of a week-long stay here so plenty more videos coming your way but for now guys we are going to jump into bed <laughs> my name is luke my name is naomi we are the two mad explorers and this is your reminder to keep exploring and we'll see you guys in the next jump on adventure kapkunaka for watching jump Kup on bye-bye <laughs>